Okay, this video is actually for a specific YouTube user that had uh, a Briggs & Stratton, um, I forget the exact model, but it's this plastic carburetor. And um, he, clean, he cleaned out the carburetor and, uh, and uh, it starts and then shuts right back off. So I'm going to go through the two possibilities that it could be for him. So first I'm going to take off these 7 millimeters. Okay, now uh, again, pry this with a flathead screwdriver to pop the bowl off. Now we're into the good stuff. We're going to pry this to pop it off. But this actually holds in, this is an orifice tube and that's the jet right there. This actually holds in, it's uh, Venturi. This white plastic piece, sometimes they're black, has to be inside the carburetor for it to run. If it starts up and shuts back off, usually this is missing out of it, and then it will run lean. It'll be getting too much air and not enough fuel. Um, so I'm gonna pop this orifice tube out real quick. I'm gonna loosen it up and then I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this is the orifice tube. And then with that out, this can, well, it can fall right out. <laughs> Hold on, let me pry it out. Okay, this can fall out. And if it falls out, then it'll run too lean. This orifice tube will actually stick in that hole right there. And that's what holds it in place. So once you pop that out, this can fall off. So look around on the ground. You may be missing this. Uh, uh, the second thing it could be is this jet is not clean enough. You have to poke it with wire out of a wire brush or or something like that it really has to be clean just take a wire brush and just jam it in there a bunch of times and spray it out with carb cleaner if this is lightly clogged even the least bit it will run lean and then you know start and shut right back off okay i hope that helped you out uh give me a, a thumbs up subscribe uh, that's pretty much it, boss man. <laughs>